Okay, good morning and welcome to HUD News. Today I have a big announcement. I'm going to be doing a Homeless in America tour and I'm going to be crossing the country, okay? And I'm going to do it the same way that any ordinary homeless person might do it. For those of you that don't know me that well and haven't been on the channel, most of you know me as an authority on HUD and COC and getting you guys housed. For most of you that are landlords and, and things of that nature, you've known me to help you get rid of complicated uh, uh, tenants and things of that nature, okay? So, for most of you that haven't been around since the beginning, uh, at one point in my life, I was out on the streets for about 10 years, and uh, I had a great deal of experience dealing with that situation, okay? That's how I'm able to really give a lot of insight besides my professional knowledge of uh, housing, okay? So, what will be happening is later this year, the beginning of the year, I'm going to be taking and hopping on a train or a, a Greyhound, and I'm going to literally be homeless, in about 30 different states, okay? Uh, the only money I'll have is the few hundred dollars I get from uh, YouTube uh, once a month, which is, you know, it's about 300 bucks, which is uh, a little bit less than um, a homeless person gets when they have a disability check, okay? It's not a lot of money, trust me, over 30 days. Um, and besides that, consulting fees, you know, which are generally not that much money either. And so let me tell you, show you the tour and trip, but uh, before we get started with that, you know, the purpose behind this is it's not a gimmick for YouTube. It's to prove to people out there that are struggling, that have been put on the street, or that are also already on the street. I'm going to show you literally from a sidewalk uh, with no identification how to go through a process in virtually 30 different states, okay, and how to work yourself from where you're standing on the street, shoeless, all the way into housing, okay? As far as I can get without violating the terms of HUD or a COC, I'll bring, I'm going to show it up to that point, okay? And uh, I think uh, the souvenir that I'll be bringing back from this trip is probably IDs from over 20, maybe 30 states, because the process does require me to keep changing an ID, so I'm going to have a stack of those by the time I reach back into Houston. I expect this trip to last uh, anywhere from a year uh, to uh, somewhere around a, a year and a half, okay? On average, I expect to be in each city around 30 to 45 days. That's about how long it takes to get through all the red tape and garbage and complicated systems that each one of these cities have. At the end of this trip, it should be nothing but a verification that I literally know how to handle these situations in every single state in the U.S., almost, okay? And so this is this is a, a shout-out to all of you folks that are going to be on the street and uh, struggling with being on the street. And trust me, those of you that are trying to get into Section 8 housing and all that, even if you're not on the street, you really need to see this, okay? And so it's not going to be a fun trip. There are a lot of dangers out there. Could get to coronavirus uh, while I'm out there. Uh, I could uh, end up being assaulted, uh, even though I'm a fairly big guy, um, and it's going to be hard. It's going to be especially hard sometimes, and sometimes it's not, okay? It's a whole lot of bullshit to put up with, okay? Especially at 44. Last time I took a tour around the country where I would just uh, jump on any bus or train, I was in my 20s, okay? And I did go across the country, but it, it was only about as half as many states. So I doubt there's anybody else in the country that has done this or is willing to do it. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of stress, and uh, it is what it is, okay? So along with all that being said, uh, let's take a look at the map. Um, pull it up real quick. Bear with me. Okay, so... Uh, most of you guys know where Houston is, okay? I'm down here. So, one of the likely avenues is going to be going from Houston through Austin, okay? And then uh, through El Paso. I'm not going to stop off anywhere in Texas because it doesn't make any any difference to me, okay? A likely stop would either be Phoenix and Tucson, which means probably uh, 30 to 35 days in each area. Um, I have a choice between Los Angeles and San Diego on the following 30 to 45 days. I'm a little bit apprehensive about Los Angeles because they literally have no housing for the homeless and it could be a little bit risky. In fact, I think out of all the cities that I've considered, and even New York, LA is kind of risky, okay? Um, and so I'm not sure whether I'll use that city or not. Okay, moving on up, uh, then I'll stop off in San Francisco. I love that city. Uh, there's a lot of benefits and resources, unfortunately. 
there's virtually no place for housing as well with that city, um, but that's okay. Then as I'm moving up on the list, uh, we'll going to be looking at Portland for 35 and Seattle. Of course, those places are beautiful, but they're always not so beautiful uh, when you're on the street. And then I'm going to be crossing and possibly hitting uh, Boise, Idaho, and then uh, somewhere in Montana, North Dakota, and then we'll be in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Chicago, Detroit. And then I'm going to move on across and going up here and probably land somewhere up in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, the Big Apple, and we go down to Philly, Boston, and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, I haven't set all these cities in place yet, okay, so I'm still working on that. Uh, and then we'll take a look at Washington, and then we're going to take a look at either uh, somewhere in Virginia and North Carolina, and then, of course, we're going to hit the famous um, South Carolina and Atlanta. And then we're going to go on the beach run, and then we're going to head on down through uh, Florida and ho hopefully hit Tampa, uh, Miami and uh, you know uh, I am very keen to go down there to Key West but I'm wondering how, how, how much of a trouble it's going to be to get across that bridge and then I'm going to go back up on through through Jackson, Mississippi, of course Alabama, Mississippi, run through uh, New Orleans and then Baton Rouge and then land back in Houston okay you're going to see a lot of things you've never seen in your life, okay? And it's going to be a hell of a trip. I'm going to have problems probably uploading videos because nobody likes to give out free Wi-Fi. So I don't know how often the updates will be. But I will uh, add on a section into my website uh, at hudhousing.com where you'll be able to see pictures. And then hopefully I'll be able to get out some videos for each state uh, as I'm doing this, okay? Um, if you want to meet me, if I happen to be in your city, uh, you're always welcome to meet me. Um, I'm not going to be asking for donations for people and stuff like crazy stuff like that. Uh, however, if you do want to support the channel, you know, you can always use my consulting services if you wish. And, um, yeah, like I said, I think uh, probably the end of this year or the beginning of next year we'll be doing that. And uh, it's going to be a curious run, okay? I'm excited to go to some places. I really want to see San Francisco again. Uh, I did that. I was, you know, out of all these places, you know, I was homeless in Atlanta, uh, New Orleans, I've uh, been homeless in New or uh, Houston, uh, Dallas, uh, Denver, Seattle, and California, I did San Francisco, um, where else, Billings, Montana, Chicago, Illinois, I never did get around to the East Coast, now that was a tour that I took uh, when I was in my 20s and just crazy, okay, I would literally hop on a train or a bus and just go state to state, also hit Memphis, Tennessee, that was a tough city, okay. But they're really good people, and uh, so are the programs out there. So you're going to get to see all the homeless shelters, all the COCs, how the HUD works, and uh, you'll watch me blaze through these systems, okay? Trust me, there's very, there's probably not that many people that know what I know uh, when it comes to housing. So uh, As I come up with new updates, uh, I'll be adding things to the website, of course, and then updates to the channel. And then, of course, the day that I will be leaving and then... Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that I won't get robbed while I'm out there because that would definitely complicate things, you know, I'm trying to actually replace a wallet and stuff like that, but uh, that's that's the risk that we all take, and, uh, you know, this should speak as an testament uh, to anybody out there that can't get housing. If I can manage to do this in over 30 states over a year and a half, then there's nobody that knows more about this. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody that in this country knows more about what it means to be homeless. Not only have I done the tour once, I'm going to do it twice, okay? And I'm going to do it with virtually no money, and I'm going to do it in over 30 states. And so uh, you won't see anything like this anywhere else on YouTube. And uh, like I said, it's not really designed to, you know, to be something that's uh, there to earn me money. I always appreciate when you guys click ads and uh, use my consulting services to help yourself, you know, but that's not for that purpose. Okay, so I'm going to check the time real quick, and I want to tell you guys, if you have questions or you have comments, do that uh, in the comments section. Let me know what you think about the trip, where you'd like to see me go, and uh, I just, I'd be interested in hearing back from everybody uh, what your thoughts are. So I'm going to check the time. Look, we're at nine minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and so I'm looking forward to see what the response is going to be on this video, and I'm going to let it run uh, probably till next week. That way I can get a good idea of uh, what everybody's thinking about this and um, look forward to speaking to you guys again. The next one I'm going to be doing 
is going to be a video for landlords and because we've got tenants scamming landlords we have landlords scamming tenants and i just had a conversation with some folks out in chicago older couple and uh, they've been scammed by tenants let me tell you something i don't just help people get housing i also help landlords get rid of uh tenants you know because there are tenants some of some of you guys treat landlords and you end up making them a victim and so i will fight for landlords as much as i do fight for tenants okay this is supposed to be me helping people that honestly need it and um, that also means landlords so i want you to know that if you have questions or comments or need my services or need to call me i am going to charge a small amount for that and uh, i will make you well right uh, make you well aware of your rights okay all right let me close this on out y'all have a good day